you're probably not going to need the hyaluronic transducer fire, so you don't mind minding that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Safety's off, you're grand. Be fine. <laughs> Just found out my wife was having an affair with someone she met in the gym. So I said to her, Sorry, Philomena! <laughs> It's just not working out. <laughs> Three conspiracy theorists walk in the bar. <laughs> There's no way that's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Never believe atoms. They make up everything. <laughs> Which reminds me. We have evolved to survive in a universe where the objects that matter for survival are neither too big nor too small. <laughs> I was listening to an interview with Mark Zuckerberg and he explained that human beings understand their universe through stories. And I thought to myself, that fuck-eyed freak is right. <laughs> we do. All the great leaders of our time have their stories. Mark has his Facebook story. Vladimir Putin has neo-Nazi junkie gangs. <laughs> and Michael O'Leary has AAA batteries. <laughs> This is no word of a lie. He was in the car one morning listening to Claire Byrne and she had Michael Leary on and he goes, uh, Selling batteries on Christmas morning is a sexual experience. Now, if you're like me, you probably are wondering, what in the name of God is that man doing to those poor batteries? <laughs> <laughs> and Claire Byrne just went, and we used to be in Mullingar at the time. <laughs> Which goes to prove curiosity is in the ear of the beholder. <laughs> Sorry, was he shaking about uh, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> the story of Facebook has to be one of the most inspiring stories of this century. The story of how a collection of photographs on a college laptop went on to become a website used by 3.8 billion people daily. 3.8 billion people. Although, if Mark Zuckerberg came from Sligo, it wouldn't be as inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't get me wrong. It would be the exact same people the exact same sequence of events, the exact same outcome, the exact same story, just a tiny amount less inspiring. <laughs> hey, when you hear this story, when I was in college, I hacked into the school computer and downloaded pictures of all the women in my class on to my laptop. And I was upstairs one night having an exam. The mind is better up ever, that sort of thing. And I thought to myself, hey, wouldn't it be great if I could share these pictures with the lads okay. and they could have their own exam? and with little comments underneath. So I used my knowledge of computers to create a virtual book. And that went on to make us all ridiculously wealthy, which was nice. Because we thought we were going to be up in our rooms, wanking like chimpanzees in a safari park. <laughs> exact same story, just a tiny bit less inspiring. <laughs> Although Mark Zuckerberg is right about his metaverse. Robots really are trying to take over the world. <laughs> now, don't look now. But I'm pretty sure our phones are trying to take the piss out of us. I give an example. It's mushroom season now, right? And years ago, if you want to get fucked up on your on your shrooms, you go to someone like, say, Joe Fogarty, and you go, Hey, Joe, are these mushrooms any good? And he go, Yeah, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good. See that one there? Don't fucking eat that. That one is poisonous. Not anymore. Now there's an app for that. Shrooms. So I downloaded it, and this is how it went. <laughs> Enter your first name. Now, enter your second name. Now, enter your email address, mother of God. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you six pictures, and I want you to tell me which ones contain a giraffe. Now, in my head, I was going, if you can't spot a fucking giraffe, how are you going to identify mushrooms? <laughs> I didn't say it, and I just went, that's a giraffe, that's a giraffe, that's a giraffe, and that's another giraffe. Because robots are the way of the future. <laughs> but in 20 years, 90% of the jobs currently be done by humans will be done by robots. 90%! Even in Nardi, you see a corner. <laughs> CSI, Ballymore, 2042. Jesus, my fucking TJ, I can't work this out. Why would the county engineer shoot himself in the back while inspecting the sewage plant? Are <laughs> oh, you right, Tony? I can't figure it. Plus, I was chatting at witness and saw a Nissan Pajero parked up at the top of the lane just before it happened. Oh, fucking hell. We better put it through the guard app again. Hold on, I do it. That's a zebra. Zebra. 
That's a lemur. And that's another zebra. Okay, TJ, ready? Ah, detectives! Your feeble human minds cannot process that like a robot! Because if they could, you would realize that the victim had simply disguised himself as the jeep in order to steal excrement. He then changed back into human clothes and took himself by surprise! Suicide. Case closed. <laughs> now, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus TJ, that thing is fucking brilliant. I would have never thought of that. But you know, to be fair, everything is 2020 in hindsight. <laughs> no, wait, sorry. Only the year 2020 is hindsight. <laughs> the year of the corona. No, you probably <laughs> forgot what it was like, but uh, just to refresh your memory, think of it like War of the Worlds, except it was made by RTE. Hard, <laughs> <laughs> oh, St. Patrick's Day 2020 is a St. Patrick's Day uh, like no other. <laughs> we are facing a virus that is the shared enemy of all humanity. Uh, balls. <laughs> all pubs must shut. Fuck. <laughs> and parents would have to teach their own kids at home. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I know you how you manage. Well, what I did was channel the spirit of 1980 schooling on one man in particular, uh -huh. Brother Liam from across in St. John's School. The Bozo. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey. Oh, no. Up to that point, my kids have been enjoying what I consider was progressive schooling. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Sit down and forget about those fucking computers and you forget about your Instagram, your Snapchat, your 2chan, your 4chan, your WhatsApp, your fucking Zoom, your TikTok, and your fucking Telegram, and all your other products. Now your pencils. Why do you think you forgot it? You haven't left the fucking house! <laughs> Who said that? There's one thing I will not stand in here, it's bad language. And you are a foul mouth cunt! Get out that door! Get out the door! Reshi, read something. Give it up to her onto the trail juice fire. Read harder! Is that the home of my motherfucking agent? Keep moving! <laughs> Where is your train on to Lord? Your train? <laughs> How many fucking train on to do you have? Where is it? In the shed! Your fucking brain must be in the shed. How <laughs> are you going to calculate the four Hyperions of an ellipse using... I think it's in the shed. The four Hyperions of an ellipse. The Razamut, the Methuselah, the Langdunk. Everybody, repeat after me. Razamut, Methuselah, the Langdunk. Erasmus Methuselah, Langdon, Kendall. Erasmus Methuselah, Langdon, Kendall. Erasmus Methuselah, Langdon, Kendall. Sanctus Dominus Inferno Ad Astra. Aliens have affected us. What? Excuse me, sorry. Extraterrestrials have affected us. Look, it doesn't matter what you call them. They have arrived. And anyway, it's far from fucking extraterrestrials you were reared. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this one said to me at the start of the gig? I was walking in, she goes over. I, I know what's a half hour episode of soap operas. What I like to do is watch the omnibus at the weekend. The fucking omnibus. <laughs> da -de -da. <laughs> fucking omnibus. Huh? Listen, Gorbon Dollar, FZB 31758, if that's your real name. <laughs> and I have my doubts. Listen, Gorbon Dollar, FB 73158, it's the fucking half hour episodes of Fair City on a Tuesday and a Wednesday and a Friday are good enough for the rest of us. They're fucking good enough for you! <laughs> what is the fucking world coming to? Omnibus. Back to work! Razzimus Methuselah! Lame Duck and Oak! Erasmus Methuselah! What's going on over here? You're supposed to be homeschooling, not home staring blankly at the fucking spacing! Are you missing something? 
<laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> the fucking future of country, you can't drink two fucking senses together! God! Uh, ah, fuck this shit. <laughs> Just watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs>